Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to my video covering week number three of Ulta's Love Your Skin event. I promise you there is a reason that Apollo is in my hands right now. Hopefully I alluded to it in the thumbnail of this video. This particular week, oh, it's a real mixed bag. We have some amazing products. We truly have some of my absolute favorite skincare products in this sale. But I also know, I also, I just know that I'm gonna get a little flustered over some of the products. I might find myself veering into somewhat angry territory. I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to, but some products frustrate me. Hence the chameleon because they always make me smile. In fact, nothing makes me smile more than feeding chameleons blueberries. I don't know what it is. It's the cutest thing. You cannot feed a chameleon a blueberry and not smile. It's impossible. <laughs> Hopefully the chameleon takes the edge off my anger. You know, how do you, well, yeah, he's just so cute. He is so stinking adorable. <laughs> chameleon is away. I cannot wait to edit this video because I cannot wait to edit the footage of that blueberry eating. I hope you all know that while I edit it, I will be sitting over here with the goofiest smile on my face. I can't help it. But we've got a sale to talk about the third and final week. Are you ready to get into it as always? Timestamps and links are in the description box below, and we are starting with, pause because I couldn't remember the date, Sunday, January 15th. It's a strong start. It's a very strong start. The first product is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi-Recovery Complex Serum. I will tell you all honestly, I love this serum. I think it is an incredibly well done serum. I have a mini, I will take as many minis, mini minis, as I can get of this product because it is very expensive, but it's great. It smooths your skin, it brightens your skin, and I think the star of the show in the ingredients list is Bifida Ferment Lysate. I've had so many people ask me to talk more about Bifida Ferment Lysate because the thing is, it's an ingredient that doesn't exclusively appear in Advanced Night Repair Serum, even though I think it's the star of the show in this product. It also does appear in uh, Lancome Genifique line, as well as a lot of K-Beauty products. I've had so many people ask me why I've never made a video on this ingredient, like I have for ginseng or for algae, and it's actually because I feel like we don't have enough information on this ingredient, hilariously, even though I've written some of the research on these kinds of ingredients, but see, that's the thing, on these kinds of ingredients. For example, my lab has done research on Bifidobacterium longum longum, that was not a Spico. And in saying that, I feel like I just gave away my problem and my, my limitations, and that is, we're talking about Bifidoferment lysate. What kind of Bifidobacterium? That's just a genus. There are species, there are subspecies, there are strains. And so at the end of the day, I think that uh, really broadly speaking about bifida ferment lysate, it seems to be possible in saying things like it's brightening and smoothing. But at the same time, I don't know if it's fair at all to assume that uh, what's in Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair is the same ingredient that is in the Axis Y biome essence. What I will tell you is I wholeheartedly predict that this uh, ongoing research into the skin microbiome and ingredients that can benefit it, I think this is going to, in time, be a very big thing. I think that it will be something we have a lot more knowledge about in the future. At this moment, we don't have a lot of knowledge. What we do have are a lot of fans of the ingredient or the collection of ingredients that are out there labeled as bifida ferment lysate. Oh no, we're already having a long conversation on the first product in this video, but long story short, I think that if you purchase this in the sale, I don't think you will be disappointed. However, I do think it is expensive, and I think it's worth trying some of the other Bifida products that are out there. It's just, know that there may be some differences. Again, because of how limited we are, not just in terms of how much research is done, but in terms of not really knowing that much about the ingredient itself that is being used in these products. Hopefully that made sense, hopefully. Let's move on to another amazing product, the Osea Onderia Algae Body Oil. Now, here's the thing about this product. I think that 
you are probably either going to love or hate it because it's very different from most body oils that are out there. This is not a dry oil. Body oils are almost always dry, which means they really rapidly sink into your skin. They don't leave your skin feeling like you put a heavy oil on it. This feels heavy. And I think that's both the appeal and what some people don't like because your skin is going to look a lot more shiny when you use this. You're going to have that kind of an appearance, which I think some people do enjoy. And it, it really stays. It stays. It has a strong smell, by the way. It's bizarre. It smells exactly like when you've bitten into an orange and you're, you're still holding the orange peel in your hand. It's exactly what it smells like. Super strong, super moisturizing. It really feels moisturizing. So again, you know, it's not going to be for everybody. Don't just buy it because you hear it's a good product. Know that it is heavy. I've also seen some people say they really love this in the winter time because of how it feels and not so much in the summer. And I think that's another way of kind of clarifying what's different about this. Then we have 50% off the Tula Select Face Filter Primers. I don't have this anymore. I used to originally when Tula introduced their primers. They only came out with one shade. They sent it to me in PR and let me tell you as somebody who has a pretty fair skin tone, it was way too deep for me. This is the problem with the whole coming out with one shade thing that companies do. You know, they do it with tinted sunscreens, right? When companies come out with one shade, it is always NC20. It's always NC20. So I didn't like it, I decluttered it, and then lo and behold, they came out with, I think, do they have four shades now? I think it's four. Yeah, four. So Luna is for fair light skin tones, Sunrise Medium, I feel like that was their original shade, Magic Hour Medium to Deep, and Cosmos for Deep Skin Tones. That's a pretty good spread of shades. I might grab it. I feel like I see so many of the YouTube beauty gurus say this is one of their favorite primers, and I just couldn't appreciate it when it was, you know, not the right color for my skin tone. So I don't know, I, I might, I might grab it. There's also a difference between these. One of them is a luminizing option, and one is a blurring and moisturizing option. And one more thing before we move on. This is a week of primers. There are a lot of primers to choose from. If you are shopping for a primer, I would say, you know, make sure you consider all of them before you commit to your final purchase. And our last product for this day is the Josie Moran Argan Pro Retinol Eye Concentrate. Now, let me just ask you a question before we proceed. What ingredient would you assume that a product called Pro Retinol Eye Concentrate contains? I will give you a moment to respond. <laughs> do you hate when YouTubers do that? No, I want you to think about this. What do you think it contains? Did someone say retinol? Because no, it does not contain retinol. Mm -mm, not retinol, pro-retinol, which is very rarely actually retinol. Instead, this product contains algae. At least somebody has got to be out there going, wait, how is algae retinol? Well, let me explain the logic behind the brand. Algae is, or the pink algae that is used in this product specifically, is rich in beta carotene. Now you may know the beta carotene converts into retinol, or at least hypothetically it does in your skin, and then retinol converts into retinaldehyde, which converts into retinoic acid, and that's the active form of vitamin A that our skin can use. I'll even pull up the description on the Sephora website. I don't know why I default to Sephora for descriptions, but anyway, it says right here, uh, you know, there's the type of pink algae that is used. It is a pro-retinol. Uh, uh, it's still kind of confusing, but at least they're saying it's an algae. I can follow the logic. The problem for me has come in much more recently. You see, Josie Moran has continued to expand this line, and whenever we do uh, the what's new in skincare for this month, we'll talk about the new product that I also received in PR. And when I first got it, I was like, oh, here we go again with the pro-retinol thing. But, you know, at least they say it's an algae, kind of. However, what really got me, what's grinding my gears right now, is that if you go on the Josie Moran Instagram account, you can find a video of Josie Moran explaining this product in a way that I find to be even more confusing. And what she says in this video is, and I quote, what if you could have a retinol cream that was non-irritating, blah, 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 and then she goes on to say, introducing 
our pro retinol. I'm sorry, but am I wrong for thinking that that is super misleading? Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I can't help but feel like when you introduce, what if you could have a retinol, and then you go on to say a product that's not a retinol at all, how is this not confusing to people? I am really fed up with this kind of marketing. I think that what's really going on here is, you know, there are certain terms that people know that they want in their skincare. For example, retinol, for example, vitamin C. But the catch is those can be difficult ingredients for people to use. They really can be. That's why you hear about retinol irritation, vitamin C irritation. And so what companies do is they'll use a derivative of those ingredients, something that it has to convert in your skin, which is why it's more gentle but does it convert? We don't even have data on beta carotene. Much less, we don't even know how much actual beta carotene you're getting when you're using this algae concentrate. But because people are looking for retinol and vitamin C, companies have to figure out ways to use those words so they rank higher in SEO. Listen, I've got a real simple mentality towards skincare at the end of the day. I really do. I actually just want people to know what they are buying. I want companies to be clear about this. Stop with the games. You know, this is exactly how you end up with people saying things like, oh, I've tried retinol products and they didn't do anything. Did you try retinol products or did you try an algae product? And again, algae is a great ingredient that I do actually have a video talking all about. So, you know, we just, we lose the, the nuance of how exciting some of these other ingredients are when companies sell them as something that they're not. This happened with Bakuchiol. Bakuchiol is a great ingredient. It's not retinol. It's also frustrating to me anyway, to tell you a little bit about this product. It is fine. I actually liked it when I first tried it. It's kind of thick. It's a very thick product. So if you have dry skin and you warm it up, you might actually you might actually quite like it, but it's not a retinol product and it does take that warming up. That always keeps a product from being an absolute favorite for me. I just don't feel like products should be uh, you know, kind of difficult to use. Oh, you have to do this or you're gonna hate it. I, those just never become my absolute favorite products. Anyway, it's fine, but I'm, I'm upset about the name. I'm upset about what I feel is misleading to people. This could be a long video if I'm not careful. So let's quickly move through Monday, January 16th. We have the Derma Flash again. Now again, keep in mind, you will need to buy replacement uh, razors for this. It is a vibrating dermaplane tool. I've never tried this. I have and still do use dermaplaning tools, but I use the one from Verst. Uh, I've always thought, why would you need a vibrating dermaplane system? But I feel like I have to at least consider that it might be enjoyable to use. Kind of like I was talking about with the microneedling device from Beauty Bio it might be nice to use. Is it necessary? I mean, probably not. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get a, a, a close shave with a non-vibrating razor, but nonetheless, it might make it more enjoyable. Uh, I'm still, I'm, I'm not personally interested in it. There's things I would rather spend $100 on than a vibrating razor, but that's just my opinion. I do know some people like this. Strivectin Line Blur Factor Instant Wrinkle Blurring Primer, another primer. This is fine. I have tried this in the past. It's a nice silicone rich primer. The detail on this that I don't like, since clearly this third week is gonna be my call out video, I don't really like that they're calling it the anti-wrinkle blurring primer because the reality is any silicone rich product will be wrinkle reducing by its very nature because it's an emollient ingredient that emollient ingredients sink into any fine lines and wrinkles and they just make them look less prominent. I feel like every time a company uses terminology like anti-wrinkle, it seems to be used in association with pushing the price point up. 50% off the Origins Ginseng Energizing Gel Cream with Caffeine and Niacinamide. So I like ginseng, that's another ingredient that I have made videos on. What I will say about this is that you are getting ginseng in here for only $18 for a moisturizer. Nice price point. But I feel like if you wanna see the, the next level of what ginseng is capable of, you've gotta go for the products that are using the active constituents of ginseng, including ginsenicides, including compound K. They can get pricey, they can get pricey, but that's where you'll see 
you know, why some people rave about ginseng products. And the other thing about Origins is they have strongly scented products. Tuesday, January 17th, we have the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum, which it looks like they've updated the packaging of. Anyway, I used to love this serum so much. How many of you remember when I could not stop raving about this? I still think it's a great serum. It is $19.50 in the sale, and it's a larger bottle, 1.35 fluid ounces. It has a great formula, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, peptides, medecasoside, the active constituent of Sika. But the thing is, the reason I've kind of stopped raving about this so much isn't because I don't like it. I still think it's a great product, but I do think that it's K-beauty. It's, it's a very K-beauty product at a Western price point. I think that if you are wanting to dip your toes into the K-beauty world without, you know, ordering from overseas, just, just give it a try. This is a really good product to see if you like what K-beauty is all about. But I do feel if you decide to get into K-beauty, I think you might have the same experience I did where you say, yeah, it's nice, it's a great serum, but I don't need to pay $40 for that. There's a lot of comparable K-Beauty products. You might have to mix and match a few K-Beauty products, but it, it's very easy to find uh, the benefits of that serum in K-Beauty. Does all that make sense? I still love it. I just, I don't buy it too much anymore. <sighs> And that brings us to the next Peach and Lily product, which is the Pure Peach Retinoic Eye Cream. Oh no, it's not called retinol. What did we learn already in today's video? That's right, it's another product that does not contain retinol. This formula is packed with superstar actives like Bakuchiol, a plant-based retinol alternative, and retinoic acid derived naturally from vitamin A rich rosehip seed, carrots, mangoes, broccoli, and cantaloupe. But how much retinoic acid? You can't put retinoic acid into products that are sold over the counter. So you know there's no retinoic acid in it, but yes, indeed, it does contain ingredients such as specifically the form of rosehip oil they're using in this does contain trace retinoic acid, but again, it's not the same as putting a retinoid into the ingredients list. So don't buy this if you're looking for a retinol eye cream. In fact, if you want that rosehip oil, I would highly recommend you the Good Molecules rosehip oil. It's $10 and it is pure rosehip oil. Rosa rubiginosa seed oil. That is the, the form where we've actually found that trace retinoic acid. But again, it's trace, it's, it's trace. It's not going to be the same as using retinoic acid on your skin. I don't really know why Peach and Lily did this because I feel like overall, I like the Peach and Lily brand. I mean, I like both Peach and Lily and Josie Moran. I don't know, I do know why they're doing this though. I, I do know why. Ugh. I do only have a sample of this because I would rather use a retinol or retinaldehyde, actually, eye cream. Beauty of Joson, right? I was thinking the other day about how we always abbreviate retinaldehyde to retinol. I wonder if optometrists hate that. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I just have a, a tiny sample here so you can see. It's a nice texture. It is a nice texture. I like Bakuchiol. I do like Bakuchiol. I think it is a great alternative to retinol. I mean, I wouldn't depend on it, but I, I think Bakuchiol is a good uh, complement and or substitute for pregnant people or people that can't use retinol. Now we also have the Skin Gym Gua Sha on this day. I grabbed mine from the Style Vana website. They actually sent this one to me. You can find Gua Sha's for much less than this price. I have always felt that gua sha as well as jade rollers are nice tools, kind of more for pampering yourself, for getting into your skincare routine. That's what it does for me. I do think that they can aid in lymphatic drainage. I also tend to think that might be a little overstated as a concern. And you don't necessarily need a gua sha. You can also, you can also use a cold spoon. You, you, you really can. But if you like tools and pampering yourself, that's, that's who I think the audience for a gua sha is. 
Wednesday, January 18th, I hope you all took this opportunity to play hide and seek with Cerro Vital. Kind of guess the date that it will appear in Alta sales. That would be a really fun game going forward. We should do that. The Beauty Stat Cosmetics Universal Sea Skin Refiner. I have seen this in uh, uh, subscription boxes. Still haven't tried it. It is pure vitamin C, L ascorbic acid. Leave a comment if any of you have tried it. The Indie Lee Coenzyme Q10 Toner, one of my favorite products of all time, is back in the sale. I think what makes this so special to me is, first of all, it is a little different. There's not a ton of Coenzyme Q10 products on the market. There are, there are getting to be more and more of them. But it is a, a great ingredient in that it is a potent antioxidant, and it is very important to have antioxidants in our skincare routine. There's also, on the topic of Coenzyme Q10, there's actually theories that that may play a bigger role in the aging process than we've really figured out. You know, we don't really understand the aging process. Right, we've talked about this before, and it's obvious we don't, or Jeff Bezos would look 20. Je you know I'm right. Anyway, one of the theories is we do lose coenzyme Q10 as well as a lot from our skin as we age, right? But it is one of the theories that maybe if we can figure out how to restore those levels of coenzyme Q10, it could have an effect on the aging process. But it's also such a gorgeous formula. It is so enjoyable to use this. It's that they nailed the uniqueness, the formulation, the usage, the packaging. It is, it's an incredible experience, and it's not even too expensive. If you catch it in this sale, $18. And then we have the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Finding Face Mask. I will never be the right person to really review products like this that are made for oily skin. Uh, I do have a, a mini here. I have tried it, and again, I, I just, I can't give you a lot of thoughts. It felt drying to me. Do you all remember when this was all over social media? I feel like products don't, they don't go viral in the same way that they used to. You know what I mean? It's, I think it's that in this new TikTok era, everything is so much faster that products are only viral for 24 hours instead of, this, this was viral for months on Instagram. If you have oily skin, you might like it, but as someone with a dry skin type, nah, I'll, I'll pass. Comment below if you love it. Last product on this day, the Origins High Potency Nitamins Resurfacing Creams. I used to really like Nitamins. It is a really, really thick, heavy moisturizer, perfect for dry skin, but it also smells so intense. We already talked about Origins intense smells in this video. It smells so much like tea. It smells like someone poured tea on your face. <laughs> Uh, and for the longest time I was using it and I kept breaking out and I kept breaking out and I finally had to admit to myself, because I bought a full size, I had to admit to myself, no, this is, it's, it's not working for me. It was such a sad day. Moving on to Thursday, January 19th, we have the collection of Elemis Pro Collagen, oh no, Pro Collagen, ugh. Pro Collagen Cleansing Balms. I do like these. I do, I mean, I, I love these. This one right here is the fragrance-free option, but they also have the regular, which has a really strong essential oil smell that you're either gonna love or hate. I actually love it. There's also a rose option. That's the only one I actually, I actually really don't like it. No, this should not surprise anyone. I don't like rose scents, but also that one irritates my eyes. Anyway, these are super thick. Super thick, but really enjoyable cleansing balms to use if you like the ritual of removing your makeup. But personally, I do like those. Which brings us to the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Liquid Gel Cloud Serum. So we have the, the cloud line in this sale, apparently. I do like the serum. Why does this week have to be so stressful? What I don't like about this is that, do you, do you, can you, can you read this? I'm not sure if you can read on my screen, but it says on the very top line here, 75% hyaluronic acid. And then the second line says complex with, and you know about this because I made a post on my Instagram account about the Peter Thomas Roth brand and their usage of the word complex. Of course it doesn't contain 75% hyaluronic acid. That would be a solid. Is this the salt form? It's probably the salt form used. Yup, and it's listed as the third ingredient, which a lot of people would say, oh, that means there's a lot of it in it. And maybe there is, but I highly doubt it because sodium hyaluronate is the salt form of hyaluronic acid. It's a salt. It's a salt. If you put 75% sodium hyaluronate into a product, it would be a salt. You, you, it, 
Oof. That was such a great double entendre. Because it would be painful, do you get it? I love my own joke that happened by accident, sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah, you, this is used at levels between 0.1% and 2%, not 75%, not 75%. And so again, you know, and Peter Thomas Roth, I swear Peter Thomas Roth just loves doing this. They love pulling it. Other brands will tell you 2%, like The Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid, which is a much thicker product because it's actually most likely higher in hyaluronic acid than this is. You don't want too much hyaluronic acid. It can get real goopy. So I don't want to estimate how much is in this product, but it's it's assuredly under 2%. And uh, it's pretty runny. It's a nice product. It does sink into your skin. I'm actually, I decided to use this today. I think it's really nice. It is fragrance free. It is non-irritating, but it's not 75% hyaluronic acid. And again, you know, I think what bugs me so much about Peter Thomas Roth doing this is their products are expensive and I feel like people are, I'm sorry, I feel like they are misled into these higher percentages legally because it is truthfully a complex that contains that. But I feel like it could be confusing and people could go, well, I've heard good things about hyaluronic acid, so I want as much as possible. So I guess I'll just pay more than the ordinary who only has 2% in theirs when really what would be a more honest way to differentiate yourself, Peter Thomas Roth, from The Ordinary would be to say, we spent extra time making it more cosmetically elegant. I don't like The Ordinary's, not because it's low in hyaluronic acid, but because to me it's not that elegant of a formula. It's kind of just, it gets the job done, whereas this one is actually a really beautiful product to use. Tarte's Maracuja Oil, $24 in the sale. I like this. I do like Maracuja Oil. If you are somebody who prefers to use, you know, kind of the 100% oils, I think this might be a nice option. 50% off men's skincare. Okay, <laughs> all skincare is men's skincare if you are a man. What a thought. But I have to say I'm a little underwhelmed by the selection here. Why is the... The face moisturizer, an SPF of 20. What? Why is it only an SPF of 20? Can we get rid of notions like protecting your skin from harmful UV rays is girly or whatever? I, can, can we please put that in the trash? Take it out. I never want to see it again. Do you all remember SNL did this skit that was, I think it was called Man Stain. I'll link it below. It's so, it's so funny. They have a man's skincare product and it's real manly. It says you must block impurities. <laughs> it's just skincare. In fact, in fact, men's skincare tends to be made a little bit more gentle because men shave their faces. No, I mean, it's, it's masculine infused with testosterone and hyaluronic acid. <laughs> Friday, January 20th, a day I have been waiting patiently for, 50% off the Kopari Moisture Whipped Ceramide Cream, one of my absolute favorite products. Oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful moisturizer. So it is indeed a product that contains ceramides and it is indeed a heavier moisturizer, but there's something almost light about the way it applies to your skin. It spreads so nicely. It is such a cosmetically elegant formula. Gorgeous. It is a fragrance-free product. It does not contain coconut oil. I'm telling you, Kopari has done a, a complete overhaul. It ticks all the boxes for me. And again, it feels like it's the latest technology. It feels like, you know, we've made these advancements in the way that moisturizer can feel. It can actually, in 2023, it can feel both thick, perfect for dry skin, and yet not overly heavy where it feels like your skin is suffocating. It is such a gorgeous formula. Absolutely one of my top picks from the entire sale. I hate that I spend more time on the products I don't like than the products that I love. Have you noticed? Why do we do this? It's such a human nature thing. Anyway, moving on, the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. We also have the Benefit Cosmetics Porefessional. Both of these are going to be for your pores. So let me just go ahead and show you a swatch of this so we can briefly talk about pore filling primers. The principle with these is, again, it's using silicones. You wanna make sure that you push this into your skin. So tap it into any areas on your face that you have pores. I use this today as well. Just kind of tap it. You don't wanna spread this. If you spread these kind of products, you might notice that they pill. Tap, 
Tap, tap, tap. Because the whole idea with pore filling primers is to fill your pores with silicones so that you have a smooth canvas to apply your foundation on top of. And then we have a selection of three Beekman 1802 booster serums. And I kind of, I kind of really like this. I'm pretty tempted by this. I have tried samples of both the vitamin C as well as the Bakuchiol serum. And I'm tempted to give them a longer test run because it's only $14. It's also only 0.5 ounces, but I, I like the price point of these, I think is what I'm saying here. Uh, so the vitamin C serum, I do remember that one being kind of oily. So keep that in mind. I liked it as someone with dry skin. That's the one I'm tempted to grab. It does contain some oil ingredients. It's ascorbyl palmitate, not pure vitamin C, but you know, as a booster, I like the idea of what it is. I also like that the Bakuchiol serum is clearly labeled. I'm sure not a single one of you watching is surprised to hear me say that. Is that clear? It says Bakuchiol beta retinol. Would you all understand that? I feel like, I feel like beta retinol is more clear than pro retinol, maybe. Anyway, honestly, I might grab one of those or two of those. I haven't tried the willow bark option. Let me know if any of you have longer uh, thoughts, longer term thoughts on those. And then Saturday, January 21st, y'all, we are starting out with the Clinique Select Clarifying Lotions. These are the toners that I was just joking about in my, my part one access wire review. I had to check the ingredients and see if it's still true that Clinique insists on using denatured alcohol as the second ingredient in these toners. I would personally say skip it. I was never a fan of these, never. Even back, even back in the day, in the early aughts, I thought these were uncomfortable to use. Now that I have the knowledge that I do, I can tell you it's probably because they are mostly alcohol. <laughs> well, no, they're mostly water, but then alcohol, to be more correct there. 50% off Mario Badescu's drying lotions and drying patches. It is bizarre to me that Mario Badescu has gone in this direction. Anyway, drying lotion is like Kate Somerville's Eradicate, but personally, I think Eradicate is a better product. Uh, so if you bought Eradicate, you don't need this. The drying patch, what? <laughs> I think what happened is the Mario Badescu team saw the success of uh, hydrocolloids, right? And they said, well, how do we get in on that? When, you know, we have a nighttime product here that puts little pink dots all over your face before you go to bed and it dries out the pimple. What do we do to get into the hydrocolloid world, which is also a product that you put on at night to treat pimples? So they came out with the drying patch and they say it's the daytime accompaniment. But a couple of things. First of all, they wouldn't be drying patches at all. They would be moistening patches, if anything. That's the principle of hydrocolloids is you, you give the wound that is acne or a pimple uh, conditions in which to heal. But also this whole daytime accompaniment, listen, Honestly, you were never going to find a daytime patch or daytime hydrocolloid that is perfectly transparent, that nobody will be able to see. It will always look like a little piece of scotch tape on your face, no matter how thin it is. So they're just really thin hydrocolloids. I did buy a couple boxes of these. I did try them. They're, they're fine, but I wouldn't seek them out. In fact, if you want, in my opinion, the best daytime patches are actually by Jumiso just because they are much less expensive than Western options and they're thin. They're not completely invisible, but they're thin. Next up is a product I haven't personally tried, but I was just looking at the ingredients on this. The Clarins Bright Plus Serum. This is a vitamin C serum that targets dullness and dark spots, which any vitamin C serum also would do. It's using ascorbyl glucoside. It's just really hard for me to be sold on the price point of some of these. I mean, again, we're talking about a 50% off sale. So if you want to try it, now is the time. It doesn't look too, it doesn't look bad at all to me, but it just, I don't know if it looks standout enough. I don't feel the motivation to add this one to my cart. Okay, then we have the Foreo Mini 3. I did get this in PR and uh, I like it. I think the Foreos are all great. It's a little bit more of a soft bristle. So many times in this sale, I've talked about products where you will have to buy replacement items down the road and you don't ever have to with the Foreo devices. The Mini is nice in that, especially the Mini 3, this is quite soft. The bristles on this side, you can flip it over and there's 
a little bit more of thick bristles. I don't think you ever need to pay full price for a tool like this. If you want a, a much softer option, this would be the one to go for. If you just want to uh, try a tool like this without spending too much money, wait until February, hopefully. 10x points, black owned brands go for the butta vibe. Final item, the Philosophy Purity Made Simple Pore Extractor Exfoliating Clay Mask. I have tried this one. Personally, I preferred this to the Sand and Sky. One thing I will tell you is keep in mind that I have a drier skin type, so that very much may mean that this is better for oily skin and this Philosophy version is better for combo to dry skin. Wellness deals. For week number three, this is, in my opinion, the best selection so far. The Body Shop, 30% off. Kitsch, 30% off select pillowcases. It's probably their satin ones, though. I don't like, yeah, it is. I don't like satin anywhere near as much as silk. I wish I did because it's such a big price difference, but I honestly feel like silk. I feel like it's worth it, to me at least. Patchology, 30% off. Keys Soul Care, 30% off. The only thing that's tricky about that is I've now seen the Keys brand at 50% in, you know, undisclosed sales. So it's, it's not the most tempting thing to me, but I guess you can also try their newer items for 30% off. Why does that jar of bath salt look like mayonnaise? Am I, does it look like mayonnaise? I don't know how to say that brand name, 30% off. The Good Patch, 30% off, 30% off. Essential oils and self-care from Alta and 30% off Homebody. And my friends, that's it. That's the Alta Love Your Skin event for 2023. Thank you all so much for watching this series, for bearing with me through my times of frustration as well as my times of excitement. <laughs> it's been an emotional journey. It's been, it's been an emotional journey. Thank you. Thank you for being there. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I will see you all next time.